It's James Steinhubel with TVU on the student channel, and I have uh, Mr. Bill Schwach, principal of Y Elementary School, and his team. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing, guys? Doing great. Good, Good to be here. Doing well. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're here today to talk about um, the virtual learning. You know, I've heard different, it has different titles, different, uh, you know, different ways that people are referring it to. And we're just looking for some uh, feedback of, you know, how the students are taking it, how, how you guys are taking it. If you, want to, uh, if you want to start with us, Bill. Yeah, so this is the third week of what we call alternative learning. Um, it came about very quickly, as you know, at March 13th was our last day with students. And then we had a week to sort of figure out what we were going to do. Then we had spring break, and then we launched into alternative learning. And uh, the teachers had a very quick turnaround from what was being, what was taking place in the staff room to all of a sudden moving to uh, a totally different type of instruction um, in a way that they'd never done it before. So kudos to the teachers. It was a very quick turnaround. And as I say, we're in our third week and it's evolved many times over the last three weeks. And actually, this is actually our first five-day week. So the first two weeks were four-day weeks. So it's been our third week, but short week. So it is moving quite quickly and it's continued to change. And uh, all of our members of our team are experiencing, experiencing it differently. So that's why we're all share. Excellent, excellent. We've got uh, Kyle, the assistant principal with us as well. How are you seeing it, sir? Well, I think our teachers are doing an amazing job of, of providing and, and allowing learning to continue in the home. This is, this is not what we are trained to do. We're a school. We work face-to-face -face with students. That's where our, our expertise really lies. And so it was a quick turnaround, but um, our teachers are familiar with technology, and um, our Google platform has allowed us to do a lot of things that some teachers were, were currently doing in schools, but as a supplement. So we've really had to shift completely to the, to the tech side and, and try, to, try to allow learning to continue. But um, all things considered, I think it's difficult, but things are going well. It's interesting, interesting. And we have uh, Stacy, grade five teacher. So yep. you're, right, you're, right, you're right in the middle of it there. You know, mm -hmm. how's it going? Uh, it's different for sure. Um, my students are quite well versed in the Google platform. We use it in the classroom as, like Kyle said, as a supplement. Um, it's tough not being in front of students every day, not seeing their, their work as it's happening and not being able to help them along the way. Um, very different sitting all day in front of a computer versus, you know, walking around a classroom. Uh, so far my students are doing pretty well with it. Um, They've adjusted, they're, they do adjust, but uh, the face-to-face -face interaction is definitely one of the hardest things. My high fives at the beginning of the day, hugs, whatever, you know, at the end of the day that they like to give, um, just, it's hard for them. Like a, a lot of them have said to me that they, they miss playing with their friends, but they, they get an opportunity on my classroom to talk with one another. They've been really good at FaceTiming each other and just trying to keep up their own connections as well. That's interesting. Interesting. And, and we also have uh, Teresa, the teacher librarian. So that might have in uh, old context, you know, lots of books, but I imagine you've been dealing out data, <laughs> dealing out data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, you're right. It is very, like Stacey had mentioned, it is very different not having that physical presence of the kids coming into the library all the time and asking for books. So we've had to exactly that move everything online, provide online books and resources to the kids through that platform instead. So yeah, just like Stacey, I have a Google Classroom set up where you can recommend books to kids, help them get on to, uh, we do readers and writers workshop at our school. So getting that information out. And then also that whole other aspect of learning that has to do with like intellectual property and copyright and supporting that aspect as well that has now come in the forefront 
a little bit more now that everything is also online. So it's, uh, you miss the kids and you, this way with the Google Classroom, you at least get to have opportunities um, that we post on Mondays for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday lessons. And then we post again on a Thursday for the Thursday and Friday lessons. So um, just having that opportunity to see them when you can. And for myself, like last week we had, um, a stuffy party, a virtual stuffy day, and doing uh, reading aloud a book for them. And I know our other teachers in the classrooms are doing those read alouds to the kids as well, like you would normally do in a classroom to continue to promote literacy. That's, uh, it's so fantastic that in such um, challenging times that probably everything and every reason why you went into education, all of you, and why you've gone into master's degrees and everything, you're, you're relying on all of that now, all of that uh, original core of why you went into education. And what's in, extra interesting is it's brought you right to the edge of your ability. So you're, you're finding new things, you know, talents, skills that are emerging that when now, you know, now you're, uh, you know, now you're worried about lighting, you're worried about, you know, fashion, <laughs> you're worried about setting, you're worried about engagement, you know, there, and so how, you know, how has, and you gave a little bit, but yes, learning, but school's about growing and uh, running and jumping and laughing and singing. How, how, how is that part of school uh, coming through with, uh, with this new way of uh, engaging and teaching uh, students? Who wants um, to take that? I know on my Google stream every morning in the classroom, typically I had a morning board message that students would write on the, would write their answer to on the board when they came in in the morning. And so they've asked for that to be continued on our Google stream. So I have it programmed to put in a different question every day and it sparks conversation between them. Um, a lot of my students have uploaded videos and pictures of talents or things they've been working on home. One of my students just posted his guitar rift along with a Queen song. And all of his classmates got a comment on it and check out his talent. Um, lots of puppies have been uh, <laughs> purchased. And so I've seen lots of puppy pictures and lots of puppy videos. And they've been just, and I've told the parents that I encourage them to use that stream to talk with one another. And they're just filling it. It's, it. It just constantly goes all day long. That is, uh, that is so uh, interesting. And the, now the families, that's a, that's a good you know, view into how the families are uh, engaging. Now, every, this is how my, I'm seeing it. I grew up in modern education. I raised my kids in modern education. My grandkids are coming up in modern, great education. And this is what I see. And we're all on, we're all, we're all parents and we're all sort of teachers, but you guys are professional teachers. We're the parents. Parents have great ideas for education that the education community does not engage. The education community have great ideas that families don't engage on. So now everybody is getting everything they wanted and it's brought again, the families. Okay. Now they've got everything. They've got school. 24 hours a day. They got teachers on bang, video phone, email right now. Okay. So now you got what you wanted. How are they engaging? How are, you know, what are you noticing with the families and how, how that's going? Bill, you want, um, okay. Uh, just want Kyle to, uh, you know, you know, back, back up the chief there second in command. What, uh, how's, how are the families uh, uh, doing it? Well, we, it, it's, it's a range. And it's just, it's just any, whether you're a, a parent to school age kids or not, we've got people out there that are doing okay, that are still employed. We've got people that are at the other end and, you know, they, they, they're having daily troubles. And so with a school community, you get that entire range of, of parents as well. The, the parents appreciate communication. They appreciate having information, but we've been very conscious that too much can overwhelm them. And so we're trying to find a happy medium. If you are sending daily emails and, it, and the teachers are sending information through Google Classroom, it can become too much. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to focus on what's important, stay engaged in a positive way. We have a weekly Y School News that goes out. Uh, it's once a week, as opposed to daily emails, we'll do a once a week update that engages our, our parents. 
We have um, teachers communicating at the Google Classroom level for more specifics related to student learning. And I think overall, parents are, they're trying to stay in the loop, but they also have a lot going on in their lives. And we really want to make sure that we do as much positive as we can to keep them engaged in school. One of the things that we do is, you know, teachers wish the students a happy birthday, but typically in the office, we call students down, give them a birthday certificate, and they get to pick a, a pencil or prize from the prize bin. Well, obviously we can't do that now, but uh, either Mr. Schlock or myself will make a call now. And usually you get the parents on the phone first and you just say, hi, it's uh, Mr. S or Mr. Schlock, and we'd like to wish uh, so-and-so uh, your, your kid a happy birthday. And they are so happy to get that communication because it's something that's strictly positive. Hey, we can't say it in person, but we still want to wish your child a happy birthday. And when we get back to school, we'll get them that pencil and certificate. So it's just trying to find the right balance between that, that strictly positive, hey, how's it going communications? And also the teachers are keeping the lines of communication open and trying to, trying to maintain some, some learning at home. That's, uh, you know, very, very, very insightful. And, you know, what I'm seeing is it's not the, you know, the HMI, the human machine interface. Everyone's got their smartphones and everyone's used to the internet. It's now more how, how community is realized in that virtual environment. And I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. Um, it's, it, it seems like there's a simplicity, but an importance, you know, that's you know, appearing in all areas of life. Now, Bill, we're, we're going to give you, because you're the principal, the opportunity to share with the community, but I'm concerned that the uh, internet connection in your office is not that strong, and we're going to miss <laughs> a lot of the value of what you, that you'd want to say. So, I moved to the window here, so hopefully that helps. Oh, that, that sounds, <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, hey. Jay, you, yeah, it's, we're at what, our school. We, uh, we struggle sometimes for internet access, so depends on where you are. So. I, I'm talking about hot spots. We've got dead spots. <laughs> you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to tell you something. On our radio U, we have uh, Dan Sinisak, and he has Dan Lynn Studios, and he has... Um, uh, has Juno award-winning uh, musicians record at his recording studio, and he's literally across the street from your uh, schoolyard to uh, to the north of you. So we're you know we're familiar with where you guys are. We love the community, and uh, you know we try to stream live out of Dan's. It's, it, I don't know why it's just it's just like it's right there, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's this beautiful little place. So you guys have a wonderful campus, you know, a great school. I've enjoyed the, the time. So Bill, um, if you may, uh, if you could share a few words with the, our community, our viewers, our listeners, that would be of value at this time. We'd appreciate it. Um, I think our, I think our staff are, uh, are learning a lot, just like the kids. And so as a community, I think we're all learning together this whole process. And you know, like, I know, I know the kids miss the school, the kids miss, miss the routines. You know, there's a teacher working down the hall today, and we went into his room and sort of um, interrupted his lesson to say hi to the kids. And I think from both sides, you know, the teachers appreciate seeing the kids, they miss the kids. I truly believe the kids miss school. And I think fun is we talk to teachers. We, we, you mentioned actors, and uh, I can just like actors because you know, no matter how we feel when we come to work, when we go into that classroom, we got to put our happy face on and our teacher face and go a thousand percent for our kids. And uh, that's just what we do, and we enjoy doing that. But now, being online, if you were to look at the classrooms, the teachers go home at night. Well, go, they are at home, but they, after they finish their teaching from home, they make videos. And it's funny because that's a few months. You can go to class, you can talk, you can laugh with the kids. Now you're being taped to make a video to post it, and it's a whole new world. Awesome. <laughs> and some of us are some of us are actually introverts as teachers. And then you watch watch the video that you made and you put everything into it and you go, really? That's what that's me? And then you look at somebody else who's an extrovert and wow, they just run away with it. So it's a huge learning curve, I think, for everybody. And I think we're all learning a lot about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no one would ever wish this COVID thing 
you know, it's, it's, it's the worst thing ever. But there are some things that are coming out on the side that we're learning as well. Yeah. And we're learning about ourselves. And we're learning to do it. And as a community, I think we're really realizing that it truly does take a whole community to work together to do the best. Because none of us can do this on our own. So we, and so we truly appreciate uh, everything the parents are trying to do at home. Because we know that every family right now is in a different situation. You know, with employment, work. Um, who knows if you have family members that are not well we all have older parents we're looking after so on top of the school part which is huge families all have their individual things they're going through that's the sensitive piece that we really have to be aware of when we're working with our kids you know Johnny might not be on on, on every day but there might be a very valid reason why you should be right there Mm -hmm. That's so good. That is so good. Thank you, sir. So uh, I'm going to say your name. Each of you say goodbye. So you appear, uh, Zoom sort of does its own switching by audio so people can see us. So uh, uh, Teresa. Thanks, James. Thanks for having us. Stacy. Thanks for having us. Kyle. Thanks for having us on. Take care. Yes, it's been uh, Mr. Bill Schlock. Uh, principal of Y Elementary School with James Steinbaum ETVU on the student channel. Bill, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thanks, James. Take care.